Gip, <laughs> Brother Gip, while you were out, so hang on a second. Everybody just hold on. Don't submit any more questions. Don't submit any more comments. We're just going to take this and deal with this right now. All right? Because I'm about sick and tired of all you dumb Stevies. You're liars. You're all mm -hmm. liars. Okay? Mm -hmm. Jordan Simley, is Jesus your Messiah? Yep. All right. Yes. Jesus is the Messiah. Now, here's what you, you never heard me preach anything that you disagreed with. Because you don't listen to anybody. You follow a man because you're in a cult. That's right. And amen, so amen. when Stephen Anderson says something, that's where you get everything from because you don't even think for yourself. All right. And Stephen Anderson, I made this statement that Jesus was the Messiah to Israel, not promised to the Gentiles. And Stephen Anderson, being about a three-year-old, doesn't know any Bible whatsoever. I mean, if you, all you got to do, there's a cow out there somewhere that knows more Bible than Stephen Anderson. Mm -hmm. And so because Stephen Anderson doesn't know anything, Stephen Anderson is like a third grader that hears about algebra because he'd understand it. He thinks it's a heresy. And because he has to destroy me because I'm trying to hurt his cult. I might hurt his cult. But um, there is no scripture in the Old Testament that says God sent the Messiah to the Gentiles. Now, there's scripture in the Old Testament that says the Gentiles will believe in him. But think about this. The, the Messiah was sent to Israel to deliver them. He's a deliverer to deliver them from the Gentiles. Who would he, who would he, who would he deliver the Gentiles from? So he sent them to the Jews. He sent the Messiah to the Jews and we got in when they rejected their Messiah. So he is my savior. He is the Christ. He is the Messiah, but you can't prove. And, and I tell you what, you won't even try. You'll call Stephen Anderson because you don't study your Bible. You don't read your Bible. You don't love your Bible. All you can do is throw a bunch of hate around because the guy that runs the whole show has nothing but hate. And let's, let's clear this up as well. We're I'm I'm going to pay a thousand dollars to anybody that can say that can show where Brother Gip was at Gomez's that he said that being Jesus being named Jesus was a mistake. Did right. you ever say that? No, I didn't say it because I don't believe it. But that's okay. again that was Stephen Anderson, and that's a lie. He he said he said they I said that they named him by mistake or in disobedience. I have never said that because I don't believe that. But then Stephen Anderson, let, let me say this about a liar. I appreciate a liar because here's what a liar does. They hate you. Stephen Anderson hates me, which makes him a murderer, according to the Bible, First John. So a liar hates you. He wants to find something that's bad about you that's true. He can't, so he makes something up. So Stephen Anderson lies about me. Every time he lies about me, he's saying he can't find anything that's true. And he made this up that Gip says they, uh, that they named him in disobedience. And if you listen, he cut it off before I could explain it because yes. he's scared to death of the truth because liars are afraid of the truth. Now, if you want to follow a man, kiss his ring. Uh, you don't even don't think just call him up and ask him what you're supposed to believe and do what you want. All right. And also, um, I don't know. This Jordan Simler, he says it's me, Brent Trent, 3357. Anyway, he's from All Scripture Baptist. Hey, if you guys, if you're one of the oh, ones. that's the is one that, that the one? on the street. Oh, you got, yeah. Oh, he, he literally just said it was a pleasure meeting you. By the way, it was a pleasure meeting you, Sluter, a few months ago out solo. They oh. have no idea how much they helped us. So that, yeah, <laughs> brother, brother, Jordan Simmerly, thank you, brother. You, you, that video where you guys tried to get me on the street, I literally had about five people said that video settled them on our on our side that, that brought them over. I've got a family. Listen, Brother Jordan, I want to thank God for you. I literally had a family <laughs> sitting in my church tonight because they oh, saw man. the video of you guys jumping me and they got switched <laughs> over and they're in church tonight. They go here now. Thank you, brother. Well, You're filling my church. Let me give you this. <laughs> yeah, <glory>. last, <laughs> last Sunday I preached in Alabama. And there was a missionary from Scotland there. And he said, guess what happened two weeks ago? And I said, what? He said, well, this 37-year-old lawyer, Scottish man, called me. And he said, I've been following this guy named Stephen Anderson. And he started ripping an, up a, a, like an ungodly tirade on this guy named Sam Gipp. So I went on the Internet and found Gipp stuff. And I watched it and got saved. Yeah. And so he showed up this pastor's. He wouldn't know if he's a King James church. Showed up at that pastor's church with a King James. Let me tell you what Anderson does. He sends his people into other people's churches. They don't witness about Jesus Christ. They witness about Stephen Anderson. Mm -hmm. They don't pass out gospel tracts. They pass out DVDs about Stephen Anderson. That's called a cult. Now, if you don't have enough sense to get quit following a man and worshiping a man, that's called idolatry. 
then have yourself a time. But but listen to him. He's a madman. There's two Stephen Andersons people. If you get that one where he used to put a camera up there, I don't know if he still does it, and he and he take a picture of his whole sermon, you see Stephen Anderson, the real one, the idiot that kicks the pulpit like a baby, that slams his Bible around because he doesn't respect it, that cusses from the pulpit. He likes to stand his pulpit and watch women breastfeed. That's that's your hero. But then there's the other Stephen Anderson that's been that's been edited and scripted by a guy who makes porn movies by the name of Paul Wittenberger, who apparently I'm not saved, but Wittenberger is. Thus saith Stephen Anderson. Not he doesn't have nail holes in his hands, so what he says doesn't matter. And you can he takes like 20 second sound bites of Anderson to try to make him look intelligent. So if you follow his videos, you think he's intelligent. You watch a sermon, and you think this guy shouldn't be allowed to eat, use sharp things when he eats. And, and, and by the way, let me, I can't say too much here because I, you know, I had I had uh, the, the guy asked me not to mention anything, but I've got I've got some I've got one pastor and a few others that have contacted me asking questions. Not so they can find out how heretical I am, but because they're waking up and smelling the coffee. Anyway, yeah. uh, anybody else going to comment all this stuff? We're going to ignore you. You keep on. We're just going to block you. So they're the elephants out of the room. You got anything? Yeah, to go say, ahead. Yeah. Say on because we got to we got to have you count right now. Steve, Stephen Anderson's <laughs> people call me. They call me and they use language that lost people use. Yeah. While they tell me that I'm unsafe. They use people. They use language that, that lost people use. Now, by the way. Uh, Stephen Anderson says this thing about calling, saying, naming Jesus by mistake, which I never said, is not blasphemy. It's super blasphemy. He made up a new doctrine. <laughs> well, if I said that, which I didn't, it'd only be wrong. It wouldn't be blasphemy. You know what blasphemy is? When Jesus Christ says, he that cometh unto me, I will no wise turn out. When Jesus Christ says, you're my father's hand and no man can pluck you out of my father's hand. And Stephen Anderson declares that somebody who believed on Jesus Christ is lost. Then he's calling Jesus Christ a liar. So there's the blasphemy. So if you want to follow a blasphemer, that's fine. But they call me and they pretend to be pastors wanting meetings. I had a guy call with this Russian accent. I am from Ukrainian Baptist Church in the state of Washington. I said, no, you're not. You're Stephen Anderson follower. <laughs> and I hung up on it. <laughs> and he called back. Oh, no, I am. I am sincere. I am King James man. I said, no, you're not. And so then he said something about Israel. And he goes, oh, so you are Jew bag. So I hung up on him. So he comes back. I've got it on my phone right now. He comes on. He starts with this Russian accent, then morphs into whatever is normal for him. And he just goes, Jubag, 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 Jubag. Let me ask you something. Did Jesus Christ tell him to say that? Did Jesus Christ put the hatred in Stephen Anderson's heart? You can't even pretend that. Amen. Amen. And then Amen. the guy came on and wrote a poem about me. I, I, I cracked up. I called him up. I said, you're effeminate. I mean, you're going to write a poem. I feel, <laughs> I feel bad. A guy wrote a poem about me. I'm just going to cry all day. So if you're a poem reading Stephen Andersonite, I don't know, eat quiche or tofu or something <laughs> and, uh, and, and buy his used yeah. socks. You'll need those. Well, they, they were, they all just started like coming. You're evil. Go away. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have, right. I wouldn't have right. him blocked them all. Yeah. So, uh, hey, may, they'll create they'll create fake video or fake Facebook pages just to come on to this one. So yep. anyway, I'll, I'll tell you what's funny is say even all. when Brother Gip isn't here, if we block them, they create fake Facebook pages. Yeah. They'll come back and won't say anything just because they want to watch the yeah, show. Yeah, they want to watch it. <laughs> I tell you. Uh, it, well, Stephen Anderson is a product of, of the Internet. God never made it. If there was no Internet, there'd be no Stephen Anderson. Everything he does, he even had to whine. You know, he's making he's he's fleecing his people to make Wittenberger rich. And somebody complained about it. he had to go to the Internet. He didn't talk to God. And, and somebody said this about it. And he goes and somebody said I wasn't visiting people from my church. What a whiner. But he has to <laughs> he has to do it on the Internet because the Internet is his God. My God is Jesus Christ. My God has nail holes in his hands. My God created the heaven and the earth. All he's got is the Internet. That's why you people, you follow him. That's why you give me static over the Internet. That's why you go to my YouTube page. That's why you call on a telephone, because all you have is electricity. You don't have any power from God. Amen. Now, I've blocked a lot of them. If there are any Stevie's left and you have somehow by a miracle of Jesus resisted <laughs> saying something because stupidity flows from their mouth. Yeah, I and I know Brother Git may not agree with this, and that's fine. 
and I don't know if Brother Randy does. I think he may. Any of you Stevie pastors, now you pastors, I don't care about some punk that just got saved, you know, two years ago who's read his Bible once. Any of you pastors, though, that would want me to try, I will come to you at my own expense. I've got a good job. I can do it. I will come to you and we will debate. We, You can pick the time as long as we get equal amount of time and no interrupting. I will debate you anywhere, anytime. Please just let me know because, guys, the yeah. more we can get you on camera, the more yes, people are yeah. going to come to our churches. I, I promise you. And I second that. I will come. <laughs> I will come at your own expense. <laughs> yeah, your own expense. <laughs> you pay my way, check. and I'll say whatever you want. You, you know, <laughs> it, it's kind of like you know, you don't you don't want to debate certain people because you're afraid that they may. We don't want to give them platform. Trust yeah. me. I want to give you guys as much platform as you want because the more you talk and the more the more a real Bible believer, any of us can get around you and just quote Bible for all the stupidity you have, yeah. it's going to help us and it is helping us. I will say this. I'm hearing there's a rumbling that thinking people that are following Anderson are leaving. Yes. Because if you think at some point you hear the stupid things he says, then you question them and then you have questioned God. Remember this about a cult. All cults, the number one rule is disagree with the leader. You're going to hell. Yeah. That's what Stephen Anderson, you, you if you're going to disagree with him, you're going to lose your salvation at some point. He's going to steal it from you. Of course, he doesn't have that power, but you know, he must, he must smoke something. It's know. funny. <laughs> we're, we're, we're going to save this. And I want to tell this story and we're going to move on. Cause we got a lot of people asking good questions. So everybody stay with us. We're going to get to all your questions. But, um, Somebody was calling me and Brother Randy Lawless. You know, the whole, you guys are lost. You're like reprobates. Well, you, you know, yeah. I said homosexuals can be saved. And all of a sudden, I was now a homosexual. Um, but right. Brother Randy, somebody said, was telling Brother Randy, you're not saved. And Brother Randy said, well, I believe Jesus died on the cross for my sins. I believe he rose again. And all my faith and trust is in that to get me to heaven. And then the guy simply takes back, you don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you something, guys. See, you think the great, you think that you think the unpardonable sin is disagreeing with Stephen Anderson. That's not biblical. You damn everybody to hell that disagrees with you. Let me tell you what this is. Listen, listen to this. You want blasphemy? Read on. Read on. In Revelation chapter two, verse nine, he says this. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are yeah, of the glory. synagogue of Satan. That's Stephen Anderson. He claims to yes. be a Jew. He's a blasphemer. Follow your blasphemer. He doesn't read his Bible. He's a one year old, two year. He might be three. And you you got to be dumber than that to fool it, to be fooled by him. So do your thing. But but people are going to hell because they disagree with you. And when you say save people are lost, you are not. You think you're hurting them. You think you're hurting me. You are a front to Jesus Christ himself. You are saying the blood of Jesus Christ is ineffectual. You are saying Jesus Christ is a liar that three of us have asked him to save us. And he didn't do it because Stephen Anderson declared it. And I got saved before Anderson was even born. And some of Anderson <laughs> still managed to keep me from getting saved. <laughs> I almost spit that mouthful of water out on that hey, computer screen. And, and, and I don't know. I feel a little bit better. This is I, this is good. I'm glad. Anyway, highlight the bottom of that screen with some blue. Just show the love. Just highlight the bottom of that screen with some blue stuff. And and let's just say amen right there. I am glad for it. I, I, hey, Brother Andy, yeah. I'm for it. I ain't again it. That's I'm for it. <laughs>